Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome all chasers to my next Kurtz Pelt video. Today we are talking about the um, update that just went live yesterday on the 17th. Um, it is unfortunately the 18th at 1 in the morning. Um, I sort of was mulling around recording this part of the video. Um, I have already recorded me gathering all the uh, stuff, so really this is just going to explain. And I'll show you guys everything else here coming up. And yeah, alrighty. So, we are looking at the Blazing Summer Login Event and PvP Event. So, during the next three weeks while we are waiting for the August update to come on the 7th of August, we are going to be, well, logging in for hours at a time to collect rewards. So, uh, during this event, um, you can log in each week for up to two hours to receive the rewards seen as listed on screen. Um, they are all the same each week. So for 30 minutes on week 1, 2, and 3, you get 3 basic die. For 60 minutes of uh, logging time is the intermediate die, 2 of them. And 90 minutes will get you the advanced die. And uh, 120 minutes you'll get 1 gold ring, which gold rings can be equipped to the left hand. Really wish they could be equipped to either or hand, but they can be equipped to the left hand glove slot and are sold can be sold up to 10,000 CP. Um, during this event, as many as you collect, you will receive certain prizes. So if you collect two gold rings by the end of the event, you'll receive one advanced supply box uh, costume. And if you if you receive all three gold rings, you'll collect um, one rebirth ticket. Rewards are final. Or reward final reward distribution will be done on the uh, seventh after the maintenance. Um, and until the 21st of that month as well. Uh, the distribute method will be the first of your characters to log in. So if you have more than one, make sure you log in with the character you want to receive those rewards. Um, and I think that's all. You can't trade the gold rings either, which is very important to note. Um, if you collect all three rewards from the login event, you'll receive both rewards for collecting uh, two and three. So I don't think there's a lot of benefit to collecting more than the three, but we'll go over that here in a second. Um, and it's also important to know you don't have to keep them. It uh, saves the data of how many collected to your account. Um, I'm going to be testing out the theory that you might be able to get more during each week, but I'm not sure. So maybe if you log in every day, you can do that. But I, I don't think you can. Now here's where it becomes a bit more, well, Kurt's Pell shines because it's a PvP uh, 2v2 slash 3v3 game. Um, so... This is where it's first ever PvP season's heading. Uh, uh, let's see. Kurt Pell's first ever PvP season will be heading this way on August 7th. Maintenance. In preparation for this, we would like to explain all the systems that are happening. So essentially during this, um, once the season goes live, everyone's current rank will be erased. And you'll just start from scratch. Achievements will consist of three separate categories daily achievements weekly achievements and seasonal achievements And those pretty much sound like they are the daily achievements you get them each day you log in you play you achieve them You get them weekly you get those on the weekly and I assume the seasonal ones will be uh, Seasonal so you'll have them for the entire season to complete which I'm hoping they'll probably be longer and more at length of uh, the season will remain through throughout the the, the level season will remain throughout the season and will set at the upcoming, at the end of the season. It makes sense. Uh, I didn't see anything through here. It will last uh, three to four months, but that will be depending on the development schedule. So the preseason, the current preseason. So these are your current rewards, and I believe it goes down the list because they get better. So during this season, if you're at E1, you collect nothing. Stop being a plebe and go out there and grind. Once you start hitting these other rings, you'll start receiving gold rings, advanced dies. By the time you hit uh, D, you'll hit a rebirth ticket. And for those that don't know what a rebirth ticket is, it allows you to switch how your character looks, the gender, a whole bunch of things that I honestly think you should be able to do for free, but we won't go touching that subject. Um, by the time you get up into the C area, you'll start receiving costume supply crates, which is really nice. That'll help you get any costume pieces you may or may not have. Then you'll hit B, which will get you more of those costume. You, if you hit A, you'll get more in a basic chaser symbol gold version. It's a belt, which is pretty cool. 
Um, if you get through to the S tier, which best of luck if you can, you get all the previously re listed rewards. Plus, you get um the basic chaser gold version right glove, which I think could be really cool. So I might strive to hit S. Which at this point, hey, um, I'm looking for friends on Kurt's Pulse, so hit me up with the uh, your username. You see mine; it's the Chaos Wolf. Hit me up if you are if you can help carry me to S rank. Uh, that'd be awesome. And finally, uh, if you get up into the G5 area, it looks like, or maybe you don't. No, you don't have to get into the G5. If you can get into the G area, which I'm looking for anyone for the hard carry to G. Um. You can get everything listed before the belt, the glove, the six costumes, and the one rebirth ticket, plus the basic uh, chaser symbol gold version in the neck. So I could um, really use a carry, so hey, if you're out there, hit me up. Chaos okay, Wolf. Just leave a comment down below. But yeah, so let's uh, move on to Past Me, where I collected some of the items, and then we'll come back and wrap up the video. Alrighty, now that I finally got the recording back up and running, so here is our first login event item for um, 30 minutes, I believe, is the three die. Um, so see, look at that, we got three die. Um, not gonna mess around with the die right now, but that was the first reward. We also have emotes now, which is kind of cool. I only have one page of them, but hey. Alright, we'll see you guys back with the next reward. Alrighty, and it looks like we got our second item. Got some new items, there we go. I think we just got more die there. It looks like we got two, but... Alrighty, well, we'll be back once we get the rest. So, in my quest for doing this, I had missed um, the fact that I got the gold ring. So here it is, it is from the summer event. You put it on your left hand, uh, as you can see right there. Um, I don't I don't know how useful it is. It's, you get it, it costs, you can sell it for 10,000. You get one, uh, I think, every two hours you play or something like that. Or you get one every week for every two hours. But... I don't like it. it, it has a physical increase, i just rather have my movement speed, because, let me tell you, that is way better. So yeah, there's that, um, alright, so, future Aaron, or present Aaron, present me is here, I didn't like how I ended off prior, I think I left it in, I'm not sure, I have yet to edit it. But um, I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new, ring the bell um, if you would like. It would honestly mean a lot to me if you would, but I'll leave that as a few. Um, honestly, I'm having a lot of fun playing Kurt Spell. It's been one of my favorite games to play. I just wish there was more content. I'm sort of just grinding out right now. I have a video coming up here in the next week or so on the Dual Swords, and then I think I'm going to go down the other what is it, four karmas, and talk about them in viability. Um, I'm really a big fan of the dual sword, so I'm hoping to get that out sooner rather than later. Alright guys, have fun. Remember, keep chasing that chaos. Or bring it, I don't really know. Um, just be yourselves. Have a wonderful day, all And I'll see you all later. Peace.